There you are, Lincoln Thompson. Hi. Broker owner of Gardner Realty. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Welcome we to the 2019 Walk a Mile. Well, we're excited for it. Lincoln, can we ask you a few questions about the event since sure. it's coming up on Sunday? Yes, absolutely. So give us uh, an idea of how this event got started with Gardner Realty. Well, Gardner Realty, it's our 50th year next year, and we've done fundraising for charities for decades. We, for years, we were doing a yard sale, and it just became too much work. It was cold, it was a lot of labor, for not a lot of dollars. So we searched for something else, and we stumbled upon this Walk a Mile in Her Shoes fundraiser, which really hits home because it helps to eradicate violence against women and families. We see it in our business all too often, unfortunately, but it, it really struck our hearts. So we looked into it, we were able to get signed up for it, and here we are, we're doing a walk a mile, it's our sixth year this year. Is it year six? I remember year those yard six. sales well too. Yes. It always rained. It always <laughs> rained, and, and it was cold, and it was hard. And actually the first year we had scheduled a walk, it was just the year of the hurricane. And it was in July, so we had to reschedule to September. But ever since then, we've had sunny blue skies every year. It's been fabulous. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Tell us, how many participants can we expect to see walking the streets of downtown on Sunday? You know something? In the last five years, we've had over 420 walkers in total. Last year, we had 101 walkers. This year, we're right on part. We should be right around there. Hopefully, a little bit more, but it looks like we're going to hit right around 100 walkers. And there's still time to sign up. There is, <laughs> yes, very much so. we still got three more days, and as you know, typical, we get a lot of registrants the last few days. There's someone on, on his way in right now. Oh, great. Good, <laughs> good. I look forward to it. We'll size them up. We have their shoe size. So, anyone walking that we would know? Mayor O'Brien yes. is walking. Uh, chief of Police, Roger Brown, is walking. The chief, the fire chief, uh, Dwayne Cummingback, is walking. We have the Ross White, the, the uh, head of the RCMP, is walking. We have a number of the uh, folks from CFP Gagetown. They're going to be here. Mm. So a lot of dignitaries and mm -hmm. a lot of guys that just really care for the cause and they're out to raise some money and create awareness for violence against women. It's very they're impactful to see them in their uniforms too, isn't it? Oh, very much so. I mean, the, the best to see the firemen and the policemen at the very front with a banner. And unfortunately, they see it in their business as well. So yep. that's why I think we get such good support from them. Absolutely. Can you talk to us a little bit about the charity that the proceeds go to? You mentioned it earlier. Sure. Well, it all starts with the Royal Page Foundation. Mm -hmm. So all funds raised, they go to the Royal Page Shelter, and then it comes back locally. So 100% of what we raise comes back to Fredericton's Women in Transition House. So the Women in Transition House, that's the first step when women who have been subject to violence, they leave the home, they go to a transition house, and that's where the funds go. What other charity keeps all of the proceeds in in their their home city yeah that's you know right. that's a really yeah, unique that's a big benefit 100 percent of what we yeah. raise stays locally every penny that's awesome tell us how much has been raised to date oh wow well it started like i say five years ago this is our sixth year to date we have raised one hundred and five thousand dollars, and plus whatever we raise this year so it's really gained traction every year every year we've had more walkers and we've raised more money so it's really catching on and, and it's a lot of fun too it's a fun event uh, the city is very good to us. They close the streets down downtown so we can walk through the streets, and it, it's really something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the Royal Page Shelter Foundation across country, uh, they have raised over $28 million. So, like our office and all the other Royal Page offices over the last 20 years have raised over $28 million. Mm -hmm. All for, again, to help eradicate violence against women and families. Amazing. $28 million. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, how can someone sign up? They can sign up by coming to see us at the office, 457 Bishop Drive, Gardner Realty, or easier, go to walkamilefredicton.com. Everything's on there. So they can sign up at that website, and they can also donate on that website, walkamilefredicton.com. What time does everything start on Sunday? Everything. The registration's at about 12, 12, 15. We'll have a little warm-up uh, at about 20 to 1. The dignitaries will have a couple minutes to chat, and the walk will start right at 1 o'clock. And we're usually out of there and done by 20 to 2, quarter to 2. So, That's awesome. You know, men come on, come in about quarter after 12, 12.30. Within an hour and 15 minutes, usually it's done. How about one last walk for the road? Bradley? <laughs> yes. Yes. Looking good, guys. We're looking forward to it. Tune in next week for another Pints with the Pros with the Cyroid Group of Gardner Realty, Royal LePage.